Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, Tina and I are kind of taking a break. We've had a lot of stuff going on, and we've got a lot of stuff planned to do. So right here in the middle, we've got a nice day. Um, Tina and I both picked up a little bit of a cold. So we're just going to hang out in the house. We're going to eat some good food and uh, just kind of chill out. So guys, hang around till after the break. I'll tell you what we've been up to, and I'll tell you what we've got planned. Alrighty guys, like I said, this is just going to be a quick little video, kind of fill in the gaps here between uh, projects that we can show you on film. It's hard to come up with something interesting to show you every day, so we uh, usually release videos every other day and we didn't want to leave a big gap in there. Uh, YouTube kind of punishes you if you don't put out a video. So guys, real quick, we have had a lot of stuff going on. Um, the other day we had a, a high efficiency gas uh, heater installed in our living room our uh, fireplace logs we had gas fireplace logs in there they've been going bad over the last couple of years and not quite working right so uh, we've replaced it with a with a real nice high efficiency heater um, those guys were in here and kind of kind of screws up your day when you got contractors and stuff going in and out but they were in here got it installed we're uh, real happy with it it's a three thirty thousand btus it'll about heat our entire house so We've got the furnace on just to kind of circulate the other warm air. So that's a one way we're going to try to save a little bit here on the homestead. But we've also had the workshop project going on. If you're following along on that series, we've got a few videos out on it now. And uh, another reason we're kind of rested up is we're going to be pouring concrete come Monday morning. So that's going to be nice. We've got a warm spell coming up. They were afraid they kind of iffy whether we could pour, whether it would be warm enough for the pad to set up correctly. But... Uh, Mother Nature's been kind to us, got a little bit of a warm spell coming, and it should work out just fine. We've got a, um, a big 28 by 40 pad to pour. It's got a couple of different slopes in it, and we got to account for a couple of garage doors and stuff. So I'm um, going to be a nice pour. I'll try to get as much of it as I can on film. But we've also got some things coming up. We've got, a, we've got the beets out there in the raised bed garden, and uh, they've been snowed on. The tops are starting to die back. And uh, we're going to have to get out there and try to rescue them. So we get this little warm snap of the weather. You'll see us out there and get our uh, last harvest out of the garden. That'll be our that'll be our beets. You've seen us do that before. And we'll probably follow that up with a pickled beet recipe. Uh, I think you guys have seen that before. But we'll do it again. We'll get it on film. We've got a lot of new subscribers. We're real happy about that. But uh, we've also got a cooking challenge coming up. I'm uh, not going to say too much about it. But... Uh, there's a, there's a couple of young men that have uh, threatened to give me some cooking lessons, and uh, we're just going to see if we can't give a little back. So, guys, we've got to look forward to that. That'll be coming up um, pro probably about a week. But we also had the um, metal delivered for Tina's She Shed. It's back there behind me somewhere in the trees. But um, I want to I wanna give a little shout-out to the young man who was out here and uh, was helping deliver the metal. Um, or maybe not a shout out, but an apology, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell on myself here a little bit because I feel uh, just, just about as bad as I could feel. I, uh, guys, were unloading the metal to do the she shed roof. I offered to. Uh, it's a pretty good tote from the driveway over to the she shed. I offered to move the metal with the tractor, and uh, just uh, lowered the bucket down. They set the metal on the bucket, and uh, as they were setting the metal on the bucket, I set the bucket of the tractor down on a young man's foot. And I think he's going to be okay. He said they were a little stiff and a little sore, but I know he follows the channel. So I want to offer him an apology. And to make it worse, you know, these kind of things just weigh on your mind. But uh, to make it worse, um, <coughs> I, saw the, I saw the bucket hit his foot when it went down and the look on his face. And when I reached for the lever, I hit the lever the wrong way and set it all the way down on it. So, guys, that was a lot of weight on a young man's foot. And... Uh, I couldn't feel worse about it. So I'm going to offer him a public apology. Maybe you could wish him some well wishes down there in the comments. I know he follows the channel. He's a recent subscriber since they started working out here. But uh, we just, uh, hang on, I'm going to break away for just a second. I need to cough. I'll be right back.
Alrighty guys, sorry about that. I needed to clear my throat real quick. But um, like I said, I want to offer him an apology. I feel I couldn't feel worse about it. And uh, these kind of things happen on a homestead, especially when you're working with heavy equipment. Please be careful. Please have the right safety equipment. Guys, it can happen just in the blink of an eye. I've run that tractor for hours and hours and hours. I could, I could pull up the hour meter. You'd be amazed at how much time I've spent on a tractor. And guys, I still make mistakes. So, um, guys, wish, wish the young man well. He's going to be fine, I believe. But uh, we're going to see him again on Monday when we go to Pour Concrete. And uh, I'll shake his hand then. But, guys, he, he left here with some sore toes. But some of the other things we got going on, we got a... Uh, we got the sweet potato beds. We're gonna we're gonna try to dress those up just a little bit before fall. We've got the other raised bed gardens. We need to get those cleaned up and raked out and uh, get them ready to just sit over the winter. We're not gonna do too much with them in terms of uh, like a cover crop or covering them, but we're gonna get out there too. We've got the garlic planted out there. We'll give you guys an update on that. It's a it's probably sprouted by now, but we're gonna get out there, look underneath the straw, and see how the garlic's doing. We, uh, we did a regular plant on about a bed and a half and a double planting on the other bed and a half. So it's going to be crowded in there. It's going to put that soil to the test. We're going to find out how it works out. But uh, we also had a, a cherry tomato plant out there. If you guys followed along through the gardening season, Tina called it Chubbs. But it was a little cherry tomato plant that ended up taking over the entire end of the raised bed garden. And... Uh, in its last hurrah, it dumped a bunch of little baby cherry tomatoes in its bed. And guys, all we've done is we've covered them up with a couple of inches of soil. And we're going to wait and see if that bed volunteers next spring. If we get any volunteer tomatoes out of there, we're just going to let it have the entire bed. And uh, if we do, guys, we could probably can a year's worth of sauce just out of the cherry tomatoes. So, guys, that's just a little bit of what we got coming up and a little bit of what we've been working on. You know, there's all kinds of things. We've got a lot of maintenance to do on the equipment, getting it ready for winter. I've got things that, um, part of why we're building that shop is I've got things I've got to get indoors and I get it away from the snow. But it's just going to be a, a lot of little busy work. None of it's really uh, would uh, qualify to be an exciting video. So uh, I, I'm, it's going to take up some of my time. So we're going to try to do the best we can. For sure, we'll get a video out on that concrete pour. And then uh, the guys will probably, while that cures up, it'll take it about a week to completely cure. And while that cures up, they're probably going to start work on the metal roof over there. I'm not really sure what their plans are. I don't want to obligate them to it, but uh, the, the metal's here. So I, I assume they're going to be uh, getting working on that here pretty quick. But and then we've got a deck that goes on that she shed, a 12 by 16 deck. That'll be uh, another project we'll for sure get on film. And uh, we have definitely got to get out here and uh, save these beats. I hate to... Hate to lose an entire crop of beets, and last time I looked at them, they were about the size of baseballs. So that'll be a nice little harvest coming up. But guys, we appreciate you coming and spending your time here on the channel. Tina and I are just going to rest up a little bit, um, kind of take it easy for a few days. We'll get out there and film that concrete pour, but for right now, we just uh, kind of need a little bit of a break. We're going to take some personal time for us, and uh, guys, that's, a, that's about all I got. Um, we appreciate you coming by the channel. Um, if you would, leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. For sure, uh, wish that young man well. I feel couldn't feel worse about setting that bucket on his foot. It's not funny. I, I laugh only because I don't know how else to react to it. But uh, if you would, wish him well. And uh, wish Tina well. She's uh, She's got the sniffles. And uh, guys, we just we just need a few minutes to rest. And we'll be right back bringing you all the, all the content we can manage to get on film. So we appreciate you coming by the channel, like I said. If you would, hit the thumbs up and leave us a comment. If you're new here to the channel, we really appreciate it. We hope you'll subscribe. Down next to the subscribe button is a bell. If you'll ring that bell, that'll send you a notification whenever we release new videos. That's a great way to keep up with the channel, guys. But uh, thank you for coming and spending your time with us. Tina and I will be fine. We're going to eat some good food and get some good sleep. But uh, we appreciate you coming on over to the homestead. And guys, we'll catch you in the next one.